At first, I was going to make this video to explain, by way of this book, I am Spock that Mr. Nimoy wrote in 1995, and I'm a proud owner of, live long and prosper, uh, after his passing. I was going to make this video about how NBC tried to kill off the character Spock and how Mr. Nimoy fought to save it, and how Mr. Nimoy fought to make sure that the integrity of the character was maintained, even as the minders at NBC and Paramount were saying, hey, give him an emotional outburst scene. That's not Spock, as you know. But instead, I feel compelled to talk to Zachary Quinto via video. Zachary, you played Spock very well. And came, you've come not only to have met Leonard Nimoy, but to have been a great friend to him. So there is much you know that I will never know. But I do say this to you. You're, not, you're the standard bearer now. You are Spock. And what that means for all of us who were fans, and are fans of the character, and Mr. Nimoy, is this. You know, as well as I do, that Leonard Nimoy really created Spark. He, he fought to maintain the integrity of the character when others were trying to change him into just some other hybrid human. But Spock was the first nerd, the first person that embraced science, of course, logical thought, but more important, an appreciation for people of diverse backgrounds and cultures. And an insatiable curiosity, as you know. Mr. Nimoy spent a time trying not to be Spock. I don't know if he ever talked to you about that. But I grew up during that period where he said, I'm not Spock. And I had the pleasure of meeting Leonard Nimoy at the Forums Council when I was on the Forums Council at the University of Texas at Arlington in 1981 during his I am not Spock period, when I talked about Equus, the play he was then producing, and he was very delighted that someone had paid attention to something he was doing that wasn't connected with Star Trek. But I didn't buy his book, I am not Spock. He is Spock. And as silly as that may sound to some people, we all look for in many different ways, models of people that, not just people we want to be, but a world we want. Space exploration and the interest in space exploration was the cornerstone of Spock and of Leonard Nimoy's interest. Please reflect that. Please push for better budgets for NASA. And, and with diversity, please push for a world where we get rid of racism. That's what Star Trek's all about. I wear this not just because I'm a fan of Star Trek, I am, but because Star Trek represents and is an enduring symbol of the fact that our humanity can always be better and at that time was better. So you are Spock, Mr. Quinto. Live long and prosper.